All right, so it's been about two or three days since I dethatched this, maybe four, I don't know. When I did it, it was quite uh, damp and I want it to dry out so it'll blow nice and easy and the sand will fall off the leaf blades. It's quite thick and it's nice and dead, which I want. I need the sand to stay in place, for lack of a better word. And I'm not sure exactly how to do that, if it's with a rake or with the blower or a mower with a bagger, I don't know, but I think I don't have the mower with a bagger. I ended up selling that Toro Turfmaster. Uh, I used it not even really one time, mowed with the back, mowed with it in the back and then sold it. So I don't have a mower with a bagger currently. I'm gonna fix the Honda. So the plan is I'm gonna try my luck with a blower and I blew this area just right here a little bit and that seemed to work out just fine. So I'm gonna come out here with the blower and then I'm gonna get the drag and we're gonna drag it. I think that's the, the best uh, form of action. It's going pretty good, but I've got these places of piled up sand right here. Just kind of all over, little piles of sand everywhere trying to retain those piles so I can save my sand, come out here, drag it out. But I think I'm just gonna have to pile it up in a couple different piles and then rake it. Trying to push this into one big pile is gonna probably prove to be a pretty big project. Blower is working wonders. And the lawn actually, I can see some green up in there. So I need to get the rake, and rake it up just a little bit. I'm looking at this trench that I've got right here and it looks to me like it's gonna need um, some fill. This is exactly what I wanted to happen. I wanted that to sink over the winter. It's got my trash can over here, but check out this find right here. See that sucker? You know where I got that from, right? That or another one I'm gonna to try to turn into a spray rig. Got a big old 110 gallon tank, wider tires, turf tires, and then I'm gonna to try to figure out some way to mount the tank onto that sucker. Try to mount that sucker up to my four wheeler so I can uh, ride around the yard and spray. So I've got junk all over the lawn, but over here I've got a good couple of good treasures here. That's the tank, 110 gallon tank. I got a bucket of Humic 12 and a bucket of RGS. Picked up this guy from the landfill several, two years ago or something. Uh, that's a trash pump with a 122 cc engine or whatever. Got a bag of soil conditioner there, the humic acid. Got some hydrotain there. Then here's my flower cart here. That's what this spring's all about. It's time to clean up all this crap. Got a lot of stuff everywhere put it in the dump trailer, haul it to the landfill, or get rid of lots of this crap. This washing machine set right here, got that for free from my parents, they gave that to me. These old washers are the best kind, folks. Uh, those front loaders are trash, and so when you can come in and find uh, one of these top loaders with the agitator, you take it. So they gave it to me. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. And here comes a fella I work with right here. Actually, that's his wife. So that's his wife. I thought that was him because she's driving his truck. Light and fluffy. And I don't know if this is thatch or if this is just grass. It could be just grass, really. Not even thatch. I think that's gonna be about like a, a four or five canner. I need to get the wagon out with the four-wheeler so I can tow this stuff around. 
until I check the oil on this sucker. First time I've used it in six months or something. So here's an Ely hose rail right here. I'm telling you guys, these things are the bomb. They are so freaking awesome. I just need to put one up. Put put it up. Got this from the lawn farm. Oh, it feels good to be back in the lawn doing lawn related activities. It's been far too long. Should be able to get this all cleaned up tonight. The lawn looks good. I should probably get, I think I'll put the humic acid down next and then Seed. I gotta do the seed. I was thinking about coming out here with the roller, but I should probably do the roller after the seed. application I've got to seed that part to my left over here and then I'll fill in the trench so I've got lots of stuff coming up Dude's got a dump trailer over there. I wonder what he's doing. Must be doing some work. He sold his house for $1.2 million. That house and that garage barn looking thing on one acre. I'm just wondering if they're renovating over there. I think they're turning in that garage barn into like living quarters. They can rent it out. This is looking good over here. really nice to start the season with minimal grass. Makes the lawn, cutting of the lawn so nice. Somebody over there, I don't know. That is so much more than I thought it was gonna be. So, so, so much more. Awesome. That's four. And I'm probably only halfway done. Maybe. Take that away. You still have more. I'm gonna use the blower to get that. You just gotta get the bulk, bulk of the pile. Look, got a whole pile right there. I brought this. Is, I help. I work. This I is help. five. Yeah, let me choose.
so it's going quite well, folks. I filled up about 12 of those trash cans, I think. And there's gonna be about 13 or 14 of those uh, 50 gallon trash cans or whatever. I don't know how big they are, but I've dumped it all in my compost pile over there. And then tomorrow I'm gonna get the skid steer and turn the pile. Then hopefully this year I'm gonna use some of that compost in my beds. Get, make me a little compost sifter and sift out the compost and put it in my beds. Feels really good. We finally have some warm temperatures. We're supposed to be getting to about 60 degrees this weekend. This is Easter weekend 2021 and it's nice, I tell you. It feels good. I love being in the lawn. I can't wait for the green up to come. Don't let the days go by. Got it done. I picked up about 14 of those uh, cans full of that thatch. Got the lawn all blown off, cleaned up, seeing a bit more of the green up. Hey! Seeing a bit more of the green up going on. I'm thinking like maybe another couple weeks and we should be into mowing. Today's the 2nd of April and yes, I know that's way far behind uh, a lot of you guys, but you have to realize I'm at 6,000 feet above sea level and my climate is much different than yours. Summer is much shorter and I only get up to 90, if that in the summertime at the hottest time of the year for maybe like a week. So I've done this section. I need to do the far section over there. But tomorrow I'm wanting to come out here and uh, get the drag out. I wanna get the drag. I don't know if it's gonna work or not because the lawn's a little bit long for the drag but they've got uh, little piles of sand all over. It'd be best if I had a drag with some brooms on it. Um, drag the lawn here and try to get it to um, uh, distribute the sand just a little bit more. So I plan to come out here tomorrow and kind of drag that, then put the humic acid down, seed, fertilizer, and yeah, it's uh, we're well on our way, folks. So there it is, guys. I finished her up, I got the stuff all cleared off. That was quite the project, but I'm seeing a little bit of green, not that much. Still a long way to go, and I'm still really early in my season. So I'm gonna come out here tomorrow with the drag, drag some of the sand right here, try to level it out a bit. Still quite brown, but I'm seeing a little bit of green, not too much. Seen some green grass in these beds, like see that grass right there in my bushes. That's not so good. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you guys. If you like my channel, subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next one.